All right, you guys, today we jump into Blender and see how we can make this wavy typo. Okay, so I created this typo in Photoshop and saved it as a JPEG. Also, it has a background, as you can see, and it is cropped near the text. So this way we can create a really nice pattern. Now let's go to Blender, press Shift plus A, let's go to Image, and as you can see here, we got the images as plain. Now, if you don't have it, you can go to the Edit, Preference, and let's go to Add-ons and type in here to the search image and make sure to check image export import images as planes and then go here to the three lines and click on save preferences. Now as you get that press shift plus A go to image select images as planes. I gotta go to the folder select the image click on import and here we got this in order to make it visible go to the upper right corner here and select viewpoint shading now you can see the text now this is placed flat on the surface if you have it a 90 degree angle or something like that you can modify the rotation xyz but i'm gonna leave it like this press the tab button so this way we can customize the image make sure to go up here to the select mode click on it and let's go and select the loop cut and make sure to click on this line. See when it highlights as yellow, click. And we got this drop down menu in the bottom left corner. Click on it, open it up. And here at the number of cuts, we can increase it. So the more cuts we add, the better waves it's gonna create. Make sure the number is in pair, by the way. I gotta go with 15. Press tab again. And now we're gonna create the pattern. So we're gonna go here to the modifiers. And let's go to add modifier, type into search array, click. And as you can see, if I increase the count, it is going to create a horizontal pattern. I mean horizontal copies, but I'm gonna need to switch this up from factor X, I'm gonna go with zero and to Y, I'm gonna go with one. So it's gonna go upwards or it can go downwards as well. And we're gonna increase the count. Let's go with 10. I'm gonna go back to the array, click on this little arrow here and click on duplicate. I'm gonna collapse the first one. And now I'm gonna go to the factor X, type in one, and I'm gonna decrease the Y. So this is 0, 100, and I'm going to go lower, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0.05. There you go. But here you can see that this pattern is goes, you know, up and up, which is not good. So I'm going to decrease the count to 2, and I'm going to go to the arrow again, duplicate, collapse the second one, and I'm going to decrease here the Y to 0. And now I can increase the count. I think I'm going to add like 5, 4. Yeah, something like this. So now we got the pattern. Now all we need to do is I'm gonna collapse this and go to add modifier, type into the search wave, select the wave. You can check out the preview, click on play, and it's going to create this type of animation. We're gonna need to make the wave motion horizontal, so I'm gonna uncheck the X. Great, so we got a couple of adjustments here as well. So if I look at from here, now you can go and increase or decrease the height of these waves like this. And then we got the width of the waves. This is going to make it more rare or it's gonna make it more dense. And then we got the narrowness. Good, let's hit play. But as you can see, it's moving too fast. You can slow it down here, we got the time. And here we got the speed. You can decrease it. Let's see what happens. Now it goes slow. And basically this was one quick wavy pattern that I just learned here in Blender. Hope it helped you also and thanks for watching.